Well, this particular problem is found in your textbook on page 344. And it's set up to where you would use the difference of cubes to um, find the answer. Although for the life of me, I cannot figure out why you would do that. Because it's much easier to do another way. And I'm going to go the other way. But let's see what we got. Determine the dimensions of the cubes if the length of the smaller cube is one-third the length of the larger cube. And the volume of the object is 3,250 cubic centimeters. And then the volume of the object, what they're talking about is what's in blue, actually, is the larger cube minus the volume cube, volume of the smaller cube. So if the volume of a cube is equal to the sides, length, width, height, cubed, let's call this the object is x cubed. Well, then the volume of the whole thing is actually going to be, since the volume of the object equals the larger cube minus the volume of the smaller cube, then this would actually equal x cubed minus one third x cubed equals 3,250. All right, and well, okay, it's set up like the difference of a cube. And so we could say what? Uh, x minus one third x equals x squared plus one third x plus one ninth x squared and solve for that yeah you could do all that but how about this what's one third x cubed well one third x cubed is excuse me i put a negative in here not an equal is one three cubes 27 three times three times three 27 x cubed equals three two five zero. Oh. Well, I got the same variable, and then if I convert this 1x cubed to 27 over 27x cubed and subtract 1 27th from that, what am I going to get? I'm going to get 26 over 27x cubed equals 3,250. Well, then let's divide. Let me move it over here, move it over here and up. Well, that's the same as x cubed equals 3250 times 27 over 26, correct? If I'm dividing by 26 over 27, that's the same as multiplying by 27 over 26. And let's see. Let's see what we got here. All right. Uh, 27 times 3,250 is 87,750, and if I divide that by 26, that is 3,375. So now x cubed equals 3,375. Let's take the cube root of both of these. So this is x, the cube root. And what's the cube root of 3375? Well, it's 15. So if x is 15, then 1 third x, 15 divided by 3, is 5. And so my dimensions then are 5 centimeters. That's for the smaller cube. And 15 centimeters. Uh, and you could solve it using the difference of cubes, but then you'd find out that one of your numbers is um, a complex number. It's imaginary. It's not a real solution. So the only real solution is 15, and one-third of 15 is 5. So like I say... It sets up like that. Why you would want to do it like that, if you want to, go ahead.
I didn't really want to. It seemed to be much easier to solve it that way.